Hey, good evening everybody. Dave here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcoming you back to the workbench uh, Thursday evening and I hope you're having a good week. Um, been off for a week working on some other projects and only last night was able to get down here and start working on the kit some more as I was preparing to put down some paint colors. As you can see, uh, I have a nice little line of colors that I was thinking, what am I going to paint the kit? Well, first of all, what kit am I painting? Uh, painting this one, the 57 Ford Gasser. Um, after seeing videos where Jason from Blue Ox Models had a bunch of them on his shelf, a lot of gassers, and uh, watched a couple of old Steve Mignani junkyard crawl videos where he had some of his uh, gassers and AFX models on display, I thought, I don't have one on my shelf. It'd be kind of cool to have one. So I did. It's likely not going to be the last one either. But as I was putting it together, I thought, what color am I going to paint this beast? You know, I like something that means business and maybe something I haven't painted color wise before. So I looked at what I had. I have some kits that are painted each of these colors, but I haven't used them in a while. So I was looking at uh, Green Go. All right, um, looked at Tester's One Coat Lacquer, Blazing Black. I had three Tamiyas. I had Racing Blue, I had Brilliant Blue, and then I also had Metallic Blue. And then um, I then had an unopened can of uh, Burgundy Red Metallic Model Master. So I'm thinking, I haven't painted something like this before. Maybe that'll be a kit. And then finally, Flame Red, another uh, one coat lacquer. So I looked at them and I thought, what color is going to be good? I mean, I could have gone with the box art and done uh, the green metallic, but Chris over at HPI guys did this a few years ago like that. And I thought, I want something different. So I thought, which one of these colors would work? And ultimately, none of them. So let me get them out of the way and show you what I did. So here you go. I ended up painting the car in Tamiya's TS-38. I did four coats total, two light mist coats, let it flash. About 20 minutes later, first of the two heavy coats, half hour after the first one, I put the second heavy coat on. I did all that Thursday night. Now this is Friday evening, just kind of showing you the, the sheen. Nice. Um, Definitely when you're prepping your bodies for paint, uh, if you don't sand your primer, um, I recommend it. Um, it just makes it look a little bit more smooth when you're laying down the color coats. And then of course, you're still gonna put clear on that and then sand that, wet sand it, what have you. But it just, you know, a little extra prep goes a long, long way. I painted the dashboards the same color. That's the racing dashboard right there, the holes drilled out, and uh, stock dashboard. I still have to dress them up with the chrome, and uh, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I think I'll go with the racing one. Interior-wise, I used Tamiya's TS-8 Italian red, the same red that I used on my Starsky & Hutch striped tomatoes, oh, sorry, uh, Torinos. Um, Love that color. I've painted a few cars that color, and uh, I just like it. I've got two or three extra cans of that TS-8, so, you know, got to use it sometime. Anyhow, got that. The uh, seat is a little darker because I used black primer as opposed to gray primer, but uh, wanted to kind of give the appearance that it was used, but not abused as far as sitting in it whatnot. Uh, just normal wear and tear. But anyhow, show you real quick the mock-up as you can see everything's mocked up as far as the big parts body chassis engine and uh, chassis pan so take that off you can see <clears throat> not a lot if any um, sink marks that I could find I did sand off the copyright stuff and that was it the chassis, I built it up uh, HPI guy style, just 
built it all up as a sub-assembly, painted it all one color, and I'll pick out the colors for like the shock absorbers, um, sway bar, and what have you. The engine, I still have to do some paint detailing on it, but as you can see, it's a pretty sharp unit. Those fender well headers, when you put them on right, basically, and now it's falling apart, so I've got to do that real quick, but still, it looks real sharp. I'll get that off here before it falls. Here I'm talking about putting parts on right, and apparently, I didn't glue it all the way. Anyhow, got that. I am going to use a pre-wired distributor to um, put this on here so I can show you. Okay, so I got a pre-wired distributor. I don't know from whom, but uh, I had about ten of these. I'm now down to two, and I figured the yellow looked pretty good. Otherwise, I would have orange, and I think the yellow is going to look better with this kit. But still, uh, that's what I've got for now. So. Um, you know, just wanted to kind of show you my update. Go from there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this header reattached. And then uh, go upstairs, upload the video, come back down, work on the kit till bedtime. But otherwise, uh, over the weekend, I'm working on this kit. And I have started a another build. And um, I'll show you that one over the weekend as well. But in the meantime, I uh, hope you're having a good week. Hope you're getting ready for the weekend. Those of my friends that watch the channel that are up in the Buffalo area, uh, hope you're hunkered down and staying safe. Those lake effect snows definitely are something you've dealt with before, but three to six feet. Guys, just be safe. Um, you know, hope you got plenty of chips and dip and plenty of kits to work on till you get dug out. With that, I hope everybody has a great night and we will catch you in the next video. Take care.